Welcome to anyone who is new. My name is Patrice and I am on a journey to live a healthy, sustainable lifestyle one day at a time, one step at a time. And I'm chronicling my journey on this platform. So join me. And to everyone who is returning, thank you again for clicking on yet one another one of my videos. We are going to get a mammogram done today. I need to get going. Um, I have to be there in 15 minutes. <laughs> you can see the time right there. But they said, this is my second mammogram. Uh, so I had my other one done last year. So you should get it done yearly um, at the age that I am right now. And um, they said to not put on any deodorant, lotion, or perfumes and wear a two-piece uh, outfit. But have you got your mammogram done yet for this year? If you're in that age group, make sure you check with your healthcare provider to determine if you should still be getting a mammogram <clears throat> and when and should you get your next mammogram. So let's go before I be late and I'll take you with me. Alright, we made it, we made it, we made it. So let's get inside so we can check it. We are all done. That was really quick. So I t the time that I got actually in the exam room or in the room where the machine was, it was 9.42 because I had to sign and date and put the time as she asked you know, me different questions. Like um, when was my last period? Because they have to confirm that you're not pregnant using that type of machinery. Uh, so or doing those type of images. So then the time was 9.42 that I actually got in that room. And the time that I got in my car was 9.49. So it does not take long to get the mammogram to actually get that, that process. Now, the registration, the check-in, and waiting, that might be a little longer, but the actual process of getting the mammogram is like five minutes. What she did, and she was really great, the technician. What she did is uh, she explained the process to me. What she, I think that was the same lady from last year. But she explained the process to me. And what she said is they take four images. They take two two-dimensional images and uh, two three-dimensional images. They do press down. The machine presses down on your breast. They take one breast at a time. And while the machine is doing the image, she asks you to hold your breath and kind of, you know, remain still. And then and she's really great with it. She was like, hold your breath. And the machine did its thing. And then she said, okay, breathe. And so it was really calming and soothing. And um, it was, you know, if I had any anxiety or anything um, or felt any uneasiness, she helped to calm that because she was really, really great in her explanation of it. So they take the images, uh, she'll send it off to my primary care provider because that's who actually ordered it. Um, but your gynecologist might be the one who orders yours, but she'll send it off to the ordering provider and they'll get the results. She said that my results should be back by today is Friday. My results should be back by Monday. It may be released in the portal and I can see it there. Now, if there's any issues or concerns, they'll bring me back in and then they'll do additional images and go from there. Hopefully, like last year, it'll be I'll be all clear and then I'll see her again next year. But like I said, the process is 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 not long in inside that the room. So the machine, it just, it comes, it, it presses, it stays there. Look, at, I'm actually, I didn't put on no lotion. I told y'all I didn't put on no lotion. But um, the machine pushes down and it does the image and it's, it's done. So, and, and the machine is open. So I don't know if you saw that as well. It's not like a closed machine. Well, at least this machine is not closed. <clears throat> or this facility doesn't use a closed machine, but it's not closed. So it's nothing going on back behind your head or around you, it's just like right there in front of you. So if you're claustrophobic or worry about that, then that that's not, um, it's just right there in front of you. So yeah, so hopefully um, I'll get my results back soon and everything will be all clear and we can go on until next year. Make sure you schedule your mammogram or in your annual screenings and so forth, screenings are important so that 
you can be aware of what's going on inside so if there is anything going on inside you can do the necessary steps all right so i am going to go to all these because i need to get some more items for my smoothie because i uh you saw my meal prep video a couple maybe a week ago from this one i don't know but i need to get some more items to do my smoothies i have to work this weekend i have to work saturday and sunday i have to be to my part-time job both days at six o'clock in the morning so i definitely will be packing my lunch using my meal preps i'm here at aldi's and i just looked at my phone and i got an email and it says i got new test results All right, so I got the results. I was on the phone with my provider and it came back as showing, I'm just gonna be honest, it kind of scared me. All kind of emotions went through my head, but it did come back as that I need to have a ultrasound. Now they're comparing my last year's mammogram to um, this year's mammogram and so the left looks the same the right you can see a little bit more prominent you can see a little bit a little bit more better um, an area that is, they think it could be fibroglandular tissue in that area but it's a little bit more dense and so they want to just see a little bit better so they're going to um, they recommended I get an ultrasound so I am going to get an ultrasound of just the right breast the left breast i can wait and, and have another mammogram on next year fine but the right breast is want to make sure and look at it a little bit more closely so i had to get out my girlfriends got me together real quick so shout out to my girlfriends they got me together real quick i did tell um those um my set of girlfriends and i had to get out my head so first of all i had to remind myself of who i am and who's i belong to who i belong to and that is our Lord and our Savior. So I had to remind myself of that and that he is in control no matter what. Um, but I also had to get out of my head and stop thinking about, I took it I took it far. I took it all the way far. I took it all the way to the extreme. And, we, and I, as a nurse, I should know to base it on the facts. What do you have? You had a mammogram last year. They're comparing the mammogram this year to that year. The right breast looks a little different. It could be just same because last year I had the same uh, results. The um, dense fibroglandular tissue, it was in both. But now when they look at it uh, compared to last year, they have something to compare to. The right one looks a little different than, than before. So I had to get out of my head. All kind of emotions ran through my mind in that time from the grocery store. <laughs> when I looked at the results, from the time I got on the phone with my provider, and so now all kind of res um, emotions ran through my head, but I'm calm now. I'm good now. I'm going to get this ultrasound done. I've already scheduled it, so I'm going to get it done here on the 16th. And we're going to go from there. We're going to continue to continue on, and I will continue to update you guys when I go to this ultrasound and I, when I get the results of this ultrasound. All right, I'm ready to give the update. I went in, she did the mammogram and, and she kind of, th this time they positioned the breast a little bit differently and um, they wanted to, last time it was more like this and um, so it was more like this, you know, flat, the, the way they, they did the breast. And this time it was more, she did it, she had it in in the position and it was more like this. They, they just imagine the breast right here and they went like this. The last time they went more like that. So they, um, she did those images and she told me that if they needed to do an ultrasound, they would come and get me and take me to the, do the ultrasound. But if not, um, then I can go about my business. Um, the doctor was going to go ahead and read 
the ultrasound, I mean the mammogram and come back and tell me the results. So I was wait, sit, I went to sit in the, in the dressing room and of course I was nervous because just all kinds of things was running through my head. Okay, first of all, I thought it would be like a five minute process. You would read the results and then come back and tell me what the results were, but no, time kept ticking and ticking and ticking. So I was sitting in the dressing room for like 20 minutes in, in imagine you know the feelings and the emotions that's going through my head when nobody came back and get you know to call my name in those 20 minutes and then it went to 30 minutes and i was just sitting there and i didn't want to text my husband and tell him anything because i didn't want him to worry so i just waited i waited i waited and then she called my name and i just knew for sure that i was good to go um but she told me to follow her and so i was like okay so i followed her and we went to another room and she said they needed to do an ultrasound so of course because i i'm a, I'm a nurse and i have a, you know some knowledge of just different things uh health wise and you, you know what goes on in your body and i've seen the outliers or the the 10 percent chance i see the people who fall in that 10 percent chance of getting the news that they don't want to get and so all kind of things are just going through my head so i laid down on the table and she she started doing all this and then another young lady i guess this one the one who was doing it she was maybe in training um and this was a different person who did the mammogram so it was different technician did the mammogram and then this another person did the ultrasound but she um did the you know was doing the ultrasound and then the other lady came and she was like make sure you get um all this area and this area and make sure you do this and do that and then she stopped and she was like i'm sorry i'm talking to her like you're not even here let me tell you what we're doing so she was like what we saw is that your milk ducts are elongated so your milk ducts inside your breast tissue around you know inside your breast milk ducts okay so you got your milk ducts but mine were elongated and then so i looked up because i could see the screen right there and i looked up and i was and i could see it i could see the little hole in in the milk ducts were like this instead of like this and so she kept moving it around and i could see that the milk ducts all of them were like that and she was like that's what we want to see we want to see and she was talking to the other young lady we want to take pictures of as many milk ducts in one area as we can so we can show that they're all like that and not just certain ones so basically what was going on is that my breast tissue changed over the past year or the density of my breast tissue changed over the past year because i have lost weight so essentially my mammogram did come back as being good normal um i'm good to go until next year but because I lost weight, my breasts look different. My breasts are now filled with dense tissue instead of um, a mixture between non-dense non tissue and dense tissue. So dense, dense tissue is made up of your milk glands, your milk ducts and supportive tissue. And then the non-dense tissue is made up of fatty tissue. And because I've lost weight and lost fat within my body, the makeup of my breasts changed. And they were like, wait, wait, what's going on when they compared it from one year to the next? I just want to show a picture of how breast tissue is made up. So if you see on um, this picture that I have up here now, breast density has four levels. So level A, you can see all the way in that breast, all the way through that breast. Breast A is very, very clear. But breast A is almost entirely fat tissue, fatty tissue. Now breast B is, that's how mine was looking. It says scattered areas of fiber glandular, glandular density. So that's how mine kind of looked. But it looked, it had, um, from last year to this year, it was a little bit different. It was more dense. So I think I was leaning to going towards C where you see the white 
how it changes from A to B to C. Now your breast, and, and C, your breast tissue is more dense. There's more of that supportive tissue. For mammograms, if your breast tissue is more dense, then they can't see through it as well as with um, less dense breast tissue. So they want to do more follow-ups and more testing, more imaging, so that they can see different views in different areas just to make sure that there's nothing that they missed. So in my mind, I knew that, but being that I was going, it, it was, this was happening to me, it was personal, in the back of my head, you know, other things were going on. That those, unfortunately, those what ifs and, and, and what's to come and so forth. So just a, a, a tidbit to you, if you are losing weight as well, you probably have noticed, you know, different parts of your body change as well. The inside of your body is changing, you know, as well. And the makeup of your body is changing as you're losing weight. So be aware of that when you get your mammograms or just different screenings that the makeup of your body is changing as you're losing weight. And this whole process, it helps enlighten me and I'm hoping um, I'm able to enlighten some of you or any of you. This was a very, very nerve wracking process. Um, I, my heart goes out to anyone who had to go through anything like this, where they got some news and then they had to wait and do more testing in order to get a more definitive answer. And my heart goes out to anyone who got news that they didn't want or, or news that um, was not what they were expecting. My heart does go out to, to you. In this, I just want to encourage and um, plead with others to definitely get your yearly checkups done. Definitely get those screenings done. Definitely get those tests and checks done so that if something is going on with inside your body, you can get that information and then move forward with treating or getting in a treatment plan or a care plan in order to manage that uh, diagnosis. Throughout this process, I put my trust in God and just knowing that he will see me through it all was my relief in this all. Um, like I said before, I was nervous regarding the results and what was to come, but I had faith in God and trust in God that whatever the results were, that he would see me through. But like I said, I hope that this, um, my journey continues to help and uh, help others and help you to get through or um, make sure to do things that you're supposed to do for yourself as well. I'm just saying all this to say, if being told that you have to have additional imaging done and uh, or this additional, uh, additional testing done with anything can be a scary thing to go through, very um, nerve wracking thing to go through. But what I try to do is try to look at the facts, look at the uh, what I have, the data, and um, and look at um, credible sources when I did my research. In this try not to put too much, add too much into it. So like my girlfriend said, just look at the facts. She was telling me, look at the facts, look at what you have and don't create your own story to come. So just take it day by day, make sure you get those screenings done, make sure you do go get that additional testing done and you let you and your healthcare provider use that uh, information to go forth. But um, I wanted to come back and just tell y'all guys, um, everything is normal. I will just continue to get my yearly mammograms and hopefully that will remain the same moving forth. I, like I said, I started out this video as thinking it was going to be a day in a life and it ended up being a couple days in my life. So maybe what's today? Today is, yeah, it was a week in my life through this whole process, almost a week through this whole process, but, um, I learned a lot through this process. So. I hope that it was, this video was able to help somebody some way along the way. As always, guys, I thank you for your love, your support. I thank you for journeying or coming along with this uh, on this journey called Life With Me. And until the next video, I love you guys and God bless.